Hi friends, it's Laura, welcome back. So today we're going to work on the shawl with the Karen Colorama Halo um, Perfect Phasing Cakes. Um, I have worked on this since uh, the last time we saw each other working on this together. Um, as you can see, it's we start, we left off about, about here. I've worked on it quite a bit and I hope I hope you can tell that it is starting, it's hard to tell against this green background, but it is starting to turn green right about here. I mean, it's green, it's green back here too. It's just a really, really light green, but it's starting to turn a little darker right about here. Um, you can tell in the cake that we lost a lot of the, um, the light, you know, this, this light color that was around it before. So we're moving along. I only have four of these cakes. They are still available at joannes.com. Um, and I think at Joann's too. When I was there recently, I think I saw them, but, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> but um, I really don't want to buy any more. So <laughs> I kind of, I'm hoping this is going to be enough for a good size shawl. So let's keep working on it. Started here at the end, chain three, flip it over. I believe it was Two, two double crochet, corner, single crochet, and then one, two, three, four, four double crochet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm very allergic today. I have been clearing my throat and blowing my nose and it has just been, I'm not sick, I'm just allergic. One of those days and it's so overcast. I don't, I just don't, it's, it's already, what time is it? It's 2.40, I don't think it's going to get sunny today. don't think it's going to happen. It's supposed to get nicer though um, towards the weekend. So we might take advantage of that and do a little day trip. If I'm feeling okay and if everybody's feeling okay. We had a bit of a scare. Um, it was mainly a scare for me, but because I'm scared about these things, but my mom got exposed to COVID. She got exposed to someone who ended up having COVID. Um, and they, you know, graciously let her know that, that they ended up coming down with COVID um, a couple days after we had just seen her. So I was really worried that she was going to get sick. You know, she's immune compromised. Um, I was, I was just really worried. So, and I, I was really worried about me getting sick again. I didn't do well with COVID last time. It was, it was a rough week because every day I just was waiting for my mom to wake up and be sick. I'm one of those people, I'm one of those anxious people that 
just waits for the worst thing to happen. And, um, but luckily it is now, that was last, she got exposed last Saturday and it is now Thursday. So, so far, so good. So far, all we've had is allergies. Which is pretty common for us. The avocado trees are blooming. I just went and put my little fairy garden houses out in my in my patio garden. They're kind of in random places right now because I haven't had the chance to go to the nursery and fill my my biggest planter yet. Um, and I don't, haven't had the chance to refill some pots yet either, so they're just, they're kind of scattered, but they're so cute. So happy with them. <clears throat> Maybe next week we'll go to the nursery and get some flowers. Starting to get in the mood like where I want to, you know, plant some things <laughs> and see some more life in my patio. Right now the only life in my patio is the stray cat that lives there. He's, he's parked himself there for the past um, all of this week. In fact, he's been there so long that it was very drizzly earlier this week. There was, there was quite a, a marine layer and, um, he was getting, you know, damp and we were feeling really bad and we didn't know what to do for him. And, um, so, but he really wanted to hang out on the chair in my patio because that's where he likes to hang out and that's where he's comfortable and that's where the food and water is. And that's where he just likes to be. So my mom got the idea that he needed an umbrella. So she finds an extra umbrella that we have and some clamps, like you know, hardware clamps, and clamps it to the chair. So now the cat has a cozy bed with a covering and food and water. He is living the life and I'm so happy for him. He does leave occasionally to go do his thing, but he always comes back. And sometimes it'll go like a week when we don't see him. But he always comes back. <clears throat> And if anybody's new here, we have tried having him in the house before. He used to come in uninvited through the pet door, but um, he pees on things. And he's not friendly towards my cat. They're both male and they're both territorial. Um, so he gets just, he has to stay outside, but we've, we've made him very comfortable. I'm really, I'm really happy for him. And we replace, he's on some towels right now, like some beach towels to keep them comfortable. And we replace those every now and then to keep them clean. when he's not there. 
or we'll, we'll lure him off the chair with some treats or something and replace them while he's eating. I ever tell you we used to have chickens? I don't know if I've ever told you that. Multiple times, different places we have lived, we have had chickens. This last time it was up in this property known as the garden. The property is owned by my great uncle who lives here now too. He didn't used to live here, but he lives here now too. And um, we just kind of looked after the property and we, we if we wanted to, we, we gardened there. And um, there was a place that historically had been used to raise chickens. Um, it was under an avocado tree, so they had shade. Um, good fertilizer for the avocado tree. And the, when we moved here, the old chicken coop was just beyond repair. So we built a new one. And we raise chickens <clears throat> but unless you're raising like a big flock of them and you're constantly you know trading them out for younger chickens you don't get eggs for very long only younger chickens lay eggs consistently and eventually the eggs just become very expensive eggs there's a lot of upkeep for chickens you know the bedding and the food and the and the treats and the you know all that and they're a lot of work so eventually we found them a home down the street and they literally down the street they live last we heard they live with some other chickens and a duck That was that was quite some time ago though, so I don't I don't know that the chickens are still with us, but It is a fun thing if you've never done it before though. It's just a lot of work. Speaking of a lot of work, not like chickens a lot of work, but I did finish, I'm almost, I'm, okay wait, what am I doing? I, I have almost finished the granny square blanket that none of you have seen. <laughs> I have finished done doing the border. I am just weaving in the ends. I am. I am so close to being done. I'll probably finish it today. It's just hard because it gets hot having the blanket on me when I'm tying in the ends. I get overheated very easily and um, I keep having to stop to take the blanket off of me and cool off. It's a very warm blanket and it's very heavy. I can't wait to put it on the back of my sofa. 
going to look so cute. Oops, did I lose a chain? Yes. After this video, the next video will work on the granny rectangle blanket again. I just wanted to give my arm a break from working on big projects. So, you know, I was because I was working on the granny square blanket, and that was my big project to work on for a while. Um, but now that it's done, or the the crocheting on it is done. Um, we can get back to work on the grainy rectangle blanket. And I hope you all like that pattern because we've got two more blankets that are going to be that pattern, just different colors. I should go take a walk today. It's not, I mean, it's, it's really gloomy outside, but it's not super cold. The marine, let me see what it says it is right now. I don't think it's, well, okay. It says it's 58. I don't think it really is. I think it's probably like 64 or something. It's not super cold for me. I run pretty warm. So it's, um, like I've got the fan on right now. finished selling my first batch of stuff on eBay. Very happy. Now I'm going to sell um, I've got some other stuff to sell. Where am I going with this? Okay, here we go. Um, so I, that granny square blanket was a kit from Lion Brand. And it, it was meant to be worked up with a certain pattern that you could buy from Etsy. And I bought the pattern from the creator on Etsy lovely pattern by the way um, and when I and when I bought the kit it came with it was supposed to come with enough yarn for the whole kit but I made one square and we weighed out each section of the square, like on a, on a kitchen scale. 
and we figured out that it wasn't going to be enough yarn for my tension or my um it wasn't going to be enough yarn so I had to guess and figure out how much yarn I was going to need for this blanket um, So I ended up with a couple extra skein. I ended up with like one extra skein of the flower color, one extra skein of the middle color, and a bunch of extra skeins of the border color. So I'm gonna sell the border color on eBay. Try and get back some of my money from the extra yarn that I didn't need to purchase. You know, I, I just purchased too much. I didn't need to purchase extra yarn. I just had no way of knowing how much and I was really worried because I knew this was going to be a long-term project for me. I was worried that by the time I got to the border portion I was going to run out of yarn and <clears throat> there they weren't going to sell that yarn anymore or they weren't going to sell that yarn in that color anymore. So I, I overbought and so I'm hoping I can just recoup some you know, of my money from that. And I will, you know, yarn sells really well on eBay. And um, I've got some, uh, I've got a shirt I want to sell. I've got some, some miscellaneous other stuff I want to sell. So I just, I need to get on it. I procrastinate listing things on eBay. It's really easy. There is just nothing easier than listing something on eBay. I just, I procrastinate. And I just, ugh, I hate doing it. Not as much as I hate listing things on Etsy. That's a whole nother level of procrastination. got stuff to list on Etsy. Stickers that I've had made since last year. That is how much. Now, I don't think it's really a procrastination thing. I think it's more of an ADHD thing that I just have trouble focusing and long enough to do it. So I really should give myself some more grace. The stickers I have that I want to list are pride stickers. So I really should list them before, like, you know, right now, you know, b before pride of this year. The goal was to list them before pride last year and I didn't do it. So. I should, um. I should really work on that one of my goals. Today we're using the new op light that I got when I was at Hobby Lobby. It's right here. And you can see with it on and with it off. It just creates a little more light. I think it I think it's nice. Let's go 
ahead and do another row. Can you see the green? I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. I'm not tall enough to see. I can see it. Let me zoom you in. So if I like do this, can you see the difference? I hope so. I might not finish this entire row. My back is starting to hurt. Let's see how far we get. I forgot to put my chair up. saw when I was at Joann's that they have this perfect phasing in blanket yarn now. So if you're into blanket yarn, you can get this really cool effect. I saw blue. I didn't see any other colors. I saw blue. Um, but my Joann's, or the Joann's I went to, is um, the section it was in is pretty messy. So there might have been more colors. I think we can make it to the other side. an idea for something else we could do instead of just scarves because that would be a lot of scarves just for all the yarn I just got. I got some patterns off of um, Etsy so I wouldn't be able to show you the patterns because I bought them. I could show you, um, I could give you the link to where I bought them from you know to support a small business but um, I got some patterns for uh, market bags, like reusable grocery bags. I'm thinking we can make some of those. I think that would be fun. To the other side. So here's our here's our shawl so far. Um, I think it's coming along. There's the cover. But um, 
Yeah, I just I really hope you can see. Let me stand up for a second. No, you really can't. You just really can't. I mean, you can see a little bit how much lighter it is here. If I put it all the way back there, you can see how much lighter it is back here compared to darker up here. It is just a slight difference right now. But it'll get darker as we get further into the cake. We're probably about a third into the cake. So, um, thanks for joining me. Um, we'll continue on this and we'll continue. Like I said, next video will probably be um, working on the granny rectangle blanket. We haven't worked on that in a while. So it'd be good to pull that back out. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I forgot to say that earlier in the video, the most important thing, I hope you're all having a wonderful day, that you're all doing well, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.